Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Tacoma Park, Maryland with uh, NOJ News 1. As he continues to rant about the issue of food trucks, he apparently thinks that there's some government conspiracy revolving around them. Who knows what runs through this particular soft sit slash frauditor's mind. I mean, everything he says on his channel is just outright lunacy. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and laugh our butts off about this guy's, well, just outright stupidity. All right, y'all, it's September 11th, 2023. The government says these food trucks are supposed to be self-run. They're not, and I'm going to show you why they're not. Well, first of all, citation needed, please, for that. And second of all, the issue with your comprehension here might be your verbiage that you have selected. You might not understand what self-run means, dude. So you might want to go uh, get an education, dude. That's all I can say about that with you because you are a complete moron from what I've seen in all your videos, especially you being a sovereign citizen who's gotten arrested on numerous occasions. We are letting this country go to waste. As you can see right here, Look at the wiring coming out of this tire shop at 6530 New Hampshire Avenue. We got one going to this food truck back here. Then we got the other one going to this food truck. Then we got a wire, a little orange wire going into this building here, this abandoned building. What the fuck is going on with our government? First of all, what is so wrong about uh, this scene? I don't see any issue with the uh, tire company right there sharing their electricity with these food trucks, if that's what you're getting at. I mean, uh, I'm sure they made a deal somewhere along the lines. Free food in exchange for free electricity. And what does this have to do with the government or anything like that? I mean, you just ramble on about BS and it's like, what the hell are you talking about? Look at this shit here. Look at him, jumping in the truck. Hey, look at him back there, y'all. These mugs back here got a figure of... Uh, uh, a Coca-Cola uh, machine inside the truck, y'all. I know damn well a generator don't run that Coca-Cola truck. Which is probably why they're hooked up to that electricity over there so they don't overstrain a generator. Did you ever stop to think about that? Uh, that it might not be some huge government conspiracy or something like that? Man, you're an imbecile. They got Bud Light antenna on the front. Uh, umbrella. Look at this, look at here y'all, see this right here? We got the electrical, look at here, parking in anywhere. See, this is the one that used to have, a long time ago, used to have that ice food truck. Look at this shit, y'all. Look at this shit.
but the government has made it very clear these trucks are supposed to be moved every day they're not they're not being moved at all why is this is look at here y'all these are the new spray painted ones right here they just spray painted those to try to sell them from sixty dollars and up they get them for five dollars from the salvage yard and then they come over here and sell them for sixty five dollars and up well, that's part of being part of a capitalist economy, dude. You buy low and you sell high in order to make a profit. That's the way it works in this country, and that's always how it's worked. And yet you think it's some huge government conspiracy when this type of uh, thing has been around, well, since practically the Stone Age. They haven't took those off the rims yet, but these... Look at him. This girl here used to have an ice truck here until they ran her out of here. But eventually all of them will get run out of here. As you see the wiring on the ground that runs to this food truck. It's running from the plug. As you see the other one back, they got a, a Coca-Cola uh, machine in there look at the holes y'all on the ground that runs from the back end to this place there's a lot of shady shit going on in America I personally don't see how any of this is shady dude I mean it appears that business is sharing its resources with the other businesses which if they've got some arrangement going on then it's a uh, none of your business really I mean it's what they're doing to survive. And that's all that is, you moron. And it's not some huge government conspiracy like you probably are thinking as well. That our government is not even taking place out. Look at the wiring on the wall that's coming from this tire spot. Right there where 60, 60 50 New Hampshire Avenue. We're going to send an agency down here to start investigating this. And then they move this all the way to the back. No sign saying that they're here. What is going on? Nobody's saying that there's a food truck back here. What illegal acts are taking place back here? Look, see the green holes that's coming from the back of that? They're getting water from this building, 65660 right back there they got a trash can back here they got a hose that's running an electrical wire that's running to this food truck let's go around the back and see if we can pick up this food truck back there in the back and the wiring closer where's our government at our government is selling us out left and right y'all well, I'm just going to leave it right here and let you guys uh, make fun of this imbecile for being so damn stupid. I mean, everything he says, it's a, the government's fault for something. And these people are probably just trying to make it through life, uh, earning an honest living, and he has no idea how that works. But that's all you can really expect from this particular sovereign citizen slash fraudster. Nothing but conspiracy theories on top conspiracy theories, on top conspiracy theories of average things you see out on the streets. I mean, it's like uh, Chris Cordova and street addresses as if there's some secret code that the government is trying to hide from people when it's probably just nothing but how to find a place on the streets. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.